Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is hard. This is really hard. Oh, hi, everyone. It's me, Virginia. Welcome to Face Paint and Fairy Tales. Oh, here I am. Can you guess what I'm doing? I'm practicing that I'm on a trapeze. Whoa. Or on a high wire. The trapeze, I think, is where you're swinging from the top. Whoa. I think that would be hard. It's pretty easy when you're walking on the ground, isn't it, to not fall off? But boy, if you were way up high in the sky, 30, 40, 50 feet in the air, oh, that would be terrifying. I don't know if I could ever work the high wire in a circus, but I would love to be a part of a real circus. And that's why I'm practicing today, because I want to join. And I heard that you can go to circus school. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like the funnest school ever? I would love to go to circus school. Why, they can teach you everything. How to do tricks, how to juggle. You could learn how to work those. Have you ever seen people climbing up and down and utilizing those beautiful silks that hang down or those hoops? There are so many cool things in a circus and I would love to be a part of it. You could even be a singer in the circus. And hey, if you didn't want to be a performer, you could definitely work behind the scenes. Why, you could be a sound technician, creating all the beautiful mystical sounds that occur in a circus or you could design the lighting that's right that is an actual job designing how everything looks and feels creating the mood of a show oh that's amazing you could be a musician in the band playing all that beautiful music that also helps create the mood or you don't have to work with people at all you could work with the circus animals wouldn't that be amazing working with the tigers the lions the elephants oh that would be so cool you could train them feed them and take care of them what a wonderful job well I'm sure you can guess what today is going to be all about we're talking about the circus and today's story is about a circus clown named Candy we're going to follow her through a beautiful day in the life of a circus clown doesn't that sound wonderful well let's go listen come on everyone let's go once upon a time there was a friendly little clown named Candy Candy lived with a troupe of performers that belonged to a traveling circus. Every day was fun and exciting, but also a lot of work. In the warmer months, from May to September, Candy and her circus would travel from town to town, performing for the local people there. Sometimes the crowds were small, and sometimes the crowds were huge. But it didn't matter to Candy how many people were in the audience. She loved performing and making people happy. Each morning when she woke up, Candy would eat her breakfast. What do you think clowns eat for breakfast? Cotton candy and popcorn? <laughs> no. She had to eat regular food just like you and me. Eggs and toast and orange juice and cereal. Then Candy would have to do her morning chores. What do you think a circus clown has to do for chores? Feed the elephants and lions? No, no, that's the trainer's job. Candy had to help wash up her breakfast dishes, make her bed, and fold her laundry. <laughs> but then it was time to start warming up for the afternoon show. Candy stretched her legs and arms, did jumping jacks, and said a few tongue twisters to get her voice ready, too. Then it was time to get dressed. Candy had a special outfit that was made just for her. A big red nose, big red shoes, large, funny, colorful pants, and a shirt with bells and baubles and pom-poms all over it. <laughs> Next, Candy had to put on her makeup. White face, red cheeks, and blue eyes. Don't forget your funny wig, Candy. <laughs> the stage manager came to her room and told Candy that it was almost time to start the show. The crowds of people were lining up to buy their tickets and were taking their seats. Candy could smell the fresh baked candy apples. She could hear the horses warming up behind the circus tent and could see the flying trapeze artists stretching their muscles. She could hear shouts and yells of excitement at the midway down the way. <laughs> candy loved being a part of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, said the ringmaster. Oh, said Candy, here we go. And she and the other clowns gathered up their juggling balls and water squirters and got ready to go out and perform for all the people that had come to see them. Candy loved being a clown. She thought it was the best job in the world. The End 
Well, how did you enjoy that story, everybody? I just loved that we got to spend the day at the circus with candy. I would like to share something with you. I went to a theater school, and at theater school, I learned about the art of clowning. That's right, there's so many wonderful things that you can learn to be a clown. It's not as simple as it looks. It's actually quite serious work behind the scenes. Did you know that clowns aren't always happy and funny? Some clowns don't speak at all. Some clowns are actually sad. Some clowns talk too much. <laughs> well, I think you know what kind of clown I am. Someone who likes to talk a lot and is always pretty happy. <laughs> well, that's a nice clown to be. But there's some tricks you can learn if you want to create your own clown. And here's one of the tricks. When people walk into a room, they walk just like this. But if you think in your head that you're leading into the room with a certain part of your body, say I led into the room with my elbow. It was the first thing that came in like this. Wouldn't that be a funny way to go in? And that kind of is the beginning of a character. Now what if I added a voice to that, a kind of high-pitched nervous voice? Oh, hello. Oh, oh dear, I'm late for work. Oh, oh. Isn't that interesting? Now let's try a different character with a different walk. What if I led in with my knees into a room? Hmm, that is a much different walk, isn't it, than leading in with my elbow. Now what if I added a slow voice to this one? Well, I guess I have to go to work. Guess I better go. <laughs> Isn't that funny? And there you already have two completely different characters just because I changed my voice and the way I walked. Isn't that so funny? Oh, I think that's an amazing thing. You could go home this week and create your own clown. Wouldn't that be great? And again, you wouldn't have to talk at all. Some clowns don't talk at all. Have you ever seen a mime? <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, let's get down to business. It's time for the face paint. Of course, I'm going to do a clown face. So let's go and have fun. Okay, everyone, I'm so excited to give myself a clown face because, come on, when you're face painting, this has got to be the face you do, <laughs> the first face you do. So, my friends, let's remember that whenever you want to paint your face at home, you better ask your mom and dad first or whoever's um, taking care of you because you don't want to get something permanent on your face and go to school with a mustache forever. That would be awful. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, let's face it, the first thing that I'm going to do as a clown is make my face white. Oh boy, this is going to be crazy. Here we go. Mm. Oh boy. Whoa. And oh boy, I found some great jokes on the internet. I think they're so fabulous. One joke says, hey, why did the clown cross the road? To get a rubber chicken. <laughs> all right, all right. That one's not as great as the other ones I've got. I've got better ones, I swear. Here we go. Look at this. Going on here. Oh, boy. This looks like maybe a bandage. Maybe I've... Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I'm turning white. What do you think? Here we go. Lots of clowns do their makeup. Did you know that most circus performers, they do, they get trained in their, the art of putting on their own makeup so that they can quickly do their makeup in their, in their dressing rooms before the show. So they look fabulous. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh boy, I look like I sneezed into a bag of flour. <laughs> okay, let's do something else here. Let's get some nice red cheeks, okay? And I think a red nose. Let's get that red nose on there. I think that is fabulous. Hey, why was the clown so sad? Because she broke her funny bone. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Okay, here we go. Okay. <gasps> I think we're getting somewhere now. When it was just the white, you couldn't tell what I was getting at. But now that I've got red cheeks, oh my, oh my, look at that. What about some red lips? Whoa, I think this is starting to look fabulous. 
fabulous. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is, how about a purple kind of star over my eye? Because I think clowns sometimes have, let's do one round patch like this. Purple patch. Whoa. Oh yes, this looks fabulous -y. There we go. And let's color that in. That looks great. <laughs> wow, what do you think so far, everybody? I think it's look coming along really fabulously. Let's do one more thing over here. I'm going to, why don't we do a triangle? I was going to do a star, but I think that's a little tricky. Stars are really hard to draw, if you've noticed that when you're coloring at school or at home. And to do a star around my wobbly eyeball would be really tricky. Let's get that triangle point in there. Ugh. Huh. Painting your face is a really tricky thing to do. There we go. There, does that look somewhat like a triangle, my friends? <laughs> when you paint your face, what's your favorite thing to do? Okay, so there we go. I think that's pretty clownish. Okay, my line's a little wobbly. Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> okay, let's get some sparkles on this because I think that would be fabulous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, I look so silly. <laughs> Ooh, hi, look, I got one blue eye and one purple eye. <laughs> Well, I think this is a very silly face paint. I think if I was a part of the circus, I would have a much more elaborate face paint and that would make me feel really good. But for now, this is fantastic. <laughs> well, I think we should sing a little song about it, don't you? Lions and tigers, the flying trapeze. Oh, the circus is my favorite place to be. The colors and lights, the sights and the sounds, but my favorite of all are the funny, funny clowns. They can dance and sing and juggle around and make you laugh and fall on the ground. Oh, clowns are funny as funny can be, the funniest things that you ever did see. Oh, the clowns are coming to town. Oh, the clowns, the clowns are coming around. If you're feeling funny or blue, having a clown around is the best thing you can do. Oh, having a clown around is the best thing you can do. <laughs> well, what did you think of that, my friends? Wasn't that a great song? I loved it. I hope you're singing it all week and feel really happy today and the rest of the week, too. I hope you enjoy yourself. But my friends, don't forget your homework this week. You're going to come up with one movement leading with a different part of your body. Ooh, and one voice and show it to your parents. Put on a little play for them. Put on your own circus at home. Wouldn't that be fantastic? <laughs> yes, it would. Well, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today here on Face Pain and Fairy Tales. You know I had a wonderful time with you and I hope that you had a wonderful time with me, Virginia, here at Face Pain and Fairy Tales. Have a great week, everyone. See you later.